New details tonight in the case of a two-year-old girl who died while in the care of her aunt. 23 ABC's Chris Arnellis is here now with more on exactly what happened and what family members are saying now. Chris? Well, Jackie, the victim, a two-year-old girl named Carla, suffered a skull fracture that doctors say she could have survived if treated right away. That's according to a police report 23 ABC uncovered today. But family, friends, and even her aunt were either too afraid or not concerned enough to call for help. Wendy Gomez is charged with second-degree murder in the death of her two-year-old niece, Carla. Carla's mom went back to Mexico in June and left Carla and her three-year-old sister with their aunt Wendy. Several times, Wendy and the two girls stayed with this family in Arvin, who asked not to be identified. What I noticed was that she couldn't really control the girls. I think that maybe she would get so worked up when punishing the girl and would get to a breaking point where she would hit them with such force. I even remember that she would grab the girl by the arm and just spank the girls. The doctor who performed the autopsy says Carla suffered a large skull fracture across the back of her head sometime in early to mid-August. Carla suffered swelling of her head and was vomiting, but her aunt was afraid to go to the doctor or the hospital because she didn't want to be deported. The family Wendy stayed with saw Carla's head injury and pressed her to get medical help, but they never directly called authorities. Not only because she was just a little girl beginning to live her life, but I think now that everyone that met that little girl feels responsible because we wish we could turn back time and take her to the hospital ourselves. Carla died on September 20th while Wendy was driving around Bakersfield. Still too afraid of authorities, Wendy drove around for nearly eight hours with Carla's lifeless body in the back seat before she finally called 911. Since it happened, I haven't been able to sleep. I only think about what I could have done. I know I can't do anything now, but I really wish I could have helped her or do something. Now, Gomez is due back in court on Thursday. Now, the other little girl was placed with Child Protective Services. No word on whether the victim's biological mom is planning to return to Bakersfield. In studio, Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC.